Welcome back. For well over 80 years, Interior Design Magazine has been essential reading for design professionals and aficionados. Now we join Cindy Allen, the Editor-in-Chief, as she catches up with her friend Shamir Shah at an impressive loft he designed for his clients. He explains all the choices that make this home so unique. So Shamir, we're in this amazing 3,500 square foot loft apartment, views for days, in a kind of nondescript manufacturing building, right? Yeah, we're up on the 11th floor, right. you know, you've got exposures on three sides of the loft, which really makes Amazing. it a great and Amazing. unusual space. We really enjoy doing both the architecture and the decoration. I mean, it's something that really, you know, makes us tick. I hope it shows. It does. Amazing architecture and incredible interiors. So let's talk about the three zones of the living room. The size of the living room necessitated some sort of division. Mm. The owners of the apartment entertain a lot. And you know we want to do sort of three intimate conversational areas within a space like this. So we've got the smallest seating area there by the fireplace that anchors the room, and a larger seating area in the center here, and the two kagans here with the beautiful sculpture by Dana Barnes. It's very eclectic, all looks like sculpture. We also have to talk about this, this amazing coffee table. Isn't it beautiful? It really just reminds me of a pool of mercury sitting on the floor and does such a beautiful job of giving us a very functional coffee table but also being a piece of sculpture in the room. It's amazing. The Vladimir Kagan sofas are so beautiful and also this coloring. A color you can't really put your finger on. Right. Right? Something you scooped out of an algae pond which right. I love. <laughs> Nothing we do in terms of coloration really like screams at you and I think that all comes together pretty nicely. I also like the fact that dark walls make a space visually receive and give the loft more length. You are a master of the mix. You walk in and this is what greets you. Give us a snapshot of how you put this together. Well, it started with Christophe Combe. So Christophe Combe is this cabinet maker in France and does these beautiful glass cabinets. The lamp there is by Alexandre Loge and that's a cast bronze piece. Amazing apartment and a live green wall to boot. Were you surprised when your client asked for a green wall? Not entirely. I, I love the idea of a vertical garden in an apartment in New York City. It just seems so antithetical to the way we live in New York. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we can actually pull this off is amazing to me. The plant walls are watered twice a day automatically and we have somebody come and trim these green walls back once or twice a month because they grow so They're vertically. They're so happy, right? Yeah. What the green walls did is that they framed the kitchen and also led you back to the rest of the apartment. So it seemed the perfect spot to have them. It definitely makes you want to keep going through. We're in Grand Central, right? We are. Really the center of the apartment in terms of where people want to be and where people are most drawn to. The kitchen on one side, across from this dining table. How many feet is this? This is huge. It's a 13-foot table. Yeah, it and is gorgeous. It's an oxidized maple table. The Plus, chair. I love the little bronze ties in there. Ties. Aren't they lovely? Incredible. It goes with the hood, right? Yeah. We did a custom patinated hood cover over the burners, which are cut directly into the stone. We also did custom bronze pulls for all the cabinets. And then doing these custom steel cabinets up here with this etched glass. So you have an amazing mix of materials because you have steel, yes. you have bronze, yes. you have stone, you have wood. I think it's really good for people to know that you can't get too trapped. You can mix. And as long as they all sort of speak to each other, I think you've got, you know, the world is your oyster in terms of exactly. bringing these things together. Shamir, we have to talk about these dancing lights over the dining room table. They were a feat to put up. We had five guys up on the table trying to get them up in the ceiling and get them mm. where we wanted them. Shamir, you're also known for finding places for built-ins. Like a bookshelf is not meant to be in a library anymore. It's in the dining room. It adds a lot of warmth and texture to an apartment in a very, very simple and easy way and gives them the opportunity to you know show their beautiful collection of books. Okay, this is like the longest banquette in a media room. It is 15 feet long with a built-in sofa bed that you know doubles as a guest room when they need it. I'm yep. staying over. <laughs> <laughs> and Shamir, over here, what a surprise. <laughs> uh-huh. 11 stories high. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go back in. <laughs> Shamir, I'm so proud of you. This is like a treasure trove in the city, and I sincerely want to thank you for all you're doing to elevate design. Thank you for coming, Cindy. Go forth and design.